Okay, hi everyone, it's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flicks Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hilux, designing what goes into the back. And um, so what I'll do is we'll take, uh, we'll have a look to see what's actually in the back right now. I'll take everything out and then I'll put everything back in and then we'll talk about the modules that I have in the back and what the purpose of those modules are also. And this is the second uh, Adventure 8 vehicle that I'm setting up. Uh, it's going to join the Troopy that goes all the way around Australia, but this one's going to be for photographic assignments, uh, for taking guests on tours, day trips, uh, weekend tours around Sydney and the regions, maybe a week trip somewhere. Um, and also when I have a larger group um, where we need two vehicles, this will be the second vehicle to the main Troopy. One moment. Adventure 8 Troopy. That's Siri trying to respond to something. Um, we'll just turn that one off. And um, so, in the last video, in setting up the Hilux, I would have been talking about the six guiding principles behind every decision that I make about setting this vehicle up. You might be wondering what are those guiding principles. Let me just get my reminder sheet. Okay, so those six guiding principles for every decision-making episode I've got a cheat sheet here and I can quickly go through those. Um, keep it simple. It's got to be lightweight and small or space saving. It has whatever item, any decision making uh, that is made, it needs to be around the design of the vehicle, it needs to be multifunctional, which means uh, one item can be used for many tasks. Uh, modular this is really important because um, you know depending on the assignment it depends what it needs to do what this vehicle needs to do whether it be camping or whether it needs to be transporting stuff so modular much the same as Lego bricks you can just build and whatever you need um, I'm trying to be I'm trying to recycle or repurpose as much as I can or rather than just buying off the shelf if I can modify something um, does two things one is it saves carbon <laughs> in the atmosphere and it means stuff that uh, and you can obviously economical as well you can you can by repurposing something you actually save a lot of money and assess accessible um, everyone has different agility so everything needs to be accessible um, easy to get to rather than clambering around all over the place so they are the six guiding principles all right, we've just arrived at the campsite and I guess uh, we'll go through the actions of setting it up and getting everything out and then we can put it all back in and we can talk about what, the, why it's modular and everything else. Hey. And voila. So that's basically set up now. Um, We'll go inside and have a look. Well, okay. we'll take everything out. There. Kitchen. Kitchen. This is a 40 litre refrigerator freezer. It, it's a make believe one until I get it. A portable toilet, chemical toilet. I'll have a bush to collapsible bush toilet as well, but until I. This is a make believe one until we get the real one. This is my standard module storage container, so there'll be a number of these. A multi-purpose shelf, and I'll show you where this goes later on. One jerry can of water, so that's 20 litres, but I actually can carry four of these, and I'll show you where they go. So up to 80 litres of water. I can also carry another three jerry cans of fuel, so that's seven 20 litre jerry cans. They can be a combination of fuel or water again, depending on the 
trip uh, and what's needed in the car. <laughs> this is a multi-purpose frame and I'll show you a number of functions for this one. Um, this box here will be actually for the fuel containers. So three go in there perfectly. Voila, so you can put three fuel containers and if there is a slight spill or something, then it's contained within that box. Um, little bit of spare carpet. Let's have a look inside. There you go. It's empty. Um, inside here, you can see some carpet. This is just spare carpet I had. It's not used carpet, it is brand new carpet, so there's no grit or grime in there. Um, the great thing about carpet is that if it gets too dirty, just throw it out and get another piece. And you can get different types of nylon carpets that don't attract dust so much, or even vinyl. Uh, I've put down some marine ply, 12 millimeter marine ply. Um, nothing is fastened to the car at this stage because I'm still designing where the modules go and everything. But once I've finalized that design, then everything will be bolted down. So it doesn't matter how much rocking and rolling and shaking there is, things will stay in place. Once I've got the uh, marine ply bolted to the frame of the car, it means then everything else I've got tie down areas here, here and here. This will be for the fridge. Uh, so I can tie down the fridge here and then I can put down extra tie downs depending on where I need it. Uh, right, let's um, reposition the camera and then we'll stack everything back in and you'll see why I'm doing what I'm doing. So if you've got a campfire going, then you've got this low profile sturdy camp table um, where this just sits on top of the frame. Process is that this actual container goes in here, like so, and then you can put in your fuel, uh, whether it be two, one, two, or three containers, all go there. For now, I'll just leave that one container there. And the water containers, they can go one, two, three. Four water containers, or again, you can have a combination of fuel and water. For now, I'll just put it there. Now, what you may have noticed is that there's a whole bunch of eye bolts all over the place. So that's probably a good point to actually start talking about the Alucab Canopy Camper. Um, a lot of thought has gone into the Canopy Camper. By uh, it's an old story that if you've got good bones and you can put on the muscle and the flesh to actually make a beautiful, strong, athletic body, but you need some good bones. So I thought I'd spend the money on good bones and hence that's why I went with Ali Cab. And the way it's constructed is you can put bolts and nuts and eye bolts all over the place and it's secure and it's strong. So I've got these stainless steel eye bolts everywhere and then that way you can attach and, and strap down anything anywhere which um, then adheres to my guiding principle of flexibility. Okay. There you go. So these would, you could again put four jerry cans there and strap them down in a similar manner. I might put a bit of carpet there eventually. 
probably a good idea and that will stop the rubbing as well. Okay, that's that. Let's put the kitchen in. So the multi-purpose shelf actually becomes a day bed. I'll show you that now. As we know, we've got the double bed uh, up the top here. Up there, you see? Um, but we won't use that. But on the other side, you've got this small shelf here. So if you're really long and tall, then you've got an extra long bed. Or if you're short like me, then that is fine. But in here, you've also got a mattress. And then you can put that down. And voila, you've got a comfy seat. Oh, you can just relax, get your iPad up there, watch a video, or go bird watching with your camera. Anyway, that's that. So I've got one more storage box out there, the toolbox, and another storage box. So. Uh, how do you operate? Let's assume you've taken out a couple of those storage boxes which just to be sitting here and here. So now you've got space. Um, if you need the... Okay, the fridge. The fridge door would normally open up like that. I'm going to go for an angle fridge. I've used those. I've got an angle fridge in the Troopy and that's been invincible. So if I need a chopping board then this would just go on top of the fridge like that pretty straightforward and then i can access anything i need in my kitchen uh, those drawers those drawers those drawers this drawer here is a bit hard to get to because this is here obviously but if i can remove that or open up the lid then i can take that drawer out as well this table actually can be used in another area I'll just reposition the cameras and I'll show you what I mean. The day bench. I've set this up. So this actually can just go in here. And I've got a couple of um, straps which I can attach here to this eyelet over here. And we'll do that quickly. And then just level it off. So what that means is when you're setting up your tent or you might be a bit of a wind and you want to reposition the car, you can close off the other side. And then one person, if you've got two people for example, one person could be working inside, you can actually close this door. and it can be locked. So that's locked now uh, from the inside. And I've got my cafe cart. Cappuccino, long black, espresso, double espresso, macchiato. What do you want? Um, so that's pretty straightforward. I can be cooking, preparing, whatever issuing out, people can be helping, you've got a bird's eye view of what's going on. Multi-purpose, multi-functional. It's brilliant, in my opinion, absolutely brilliant. What do you think? Um, did I achieve my goal? Have I kept it simple? Is it lightweight? Look, I think it's kept simple. Um, yes, simple. Lightweight and space saving, I think so. Um, rather than bulky frames and panels all over frames and everything, having the modular design, modular, 
so you can position things around. And um, those plastic boxes, they've got reinforcing, so they're strong, you can actually step on them and sit on them as well. Uh, multifunctional, particularly when it comes to surfaces like tables and everything, whether they can be put in different locations and inside or outside, so that's multifunctional. Recyclable, yes, okay, well, Valley Cab, I did, it was pre-owned, so besides saving a little bit of money, it's been reused, repurposed. Well, reused for the same purpose as meant to be for. And accessible, so, that was the other reason for choosing the Alicab Canopy Camper. I didn't want to be setting up a rooftop tent on top of the roof, getting climbing up and setting it up. It can be all done from within the car, within the ute. So I think it's, it's stacking up pretty good, in my opinion, according to those six criteria. How did I do? What's your approach? Uh, maybe you've got some special containers that you're using also in a modular process for your camper. Uh, let me know. Uh, you like it? I uh, hope you do. And uh, do subscribe. I uh, really appreciate your support. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers.